Well, today it is the memorial service of slain Kaiser Chiefs defender Luke Fleers. Now, Fleers was shot and killed in a hijacking incident last week. The SAPs have arrested six suspects and recovered Fleers' vehicle. Fleers is uh, SA Junior International and had been touted to be a Bafana Bafana player after making the squad but not playing in 2022. For more, we are joined by Ian Sears and Kari at the FNB Stadium. Thank you so much, Nsako, for your time. I mean, it is a, a sad few days, I would say, for the soccer fraternity. Um, just tell us about what is taking place today there at the stadium. Indeed, Baron, a very sad few days for the footballing fraternity in South Africa. Um, I mean, I remember last week we heard the news of uh, the passing of uh, Luke Fleers, whose life was tragically and senselessly taken away from him. We are currently at the FNB Stadium where his uh, club, Kaiser Chiefs, will be holding a memorial service just in there. Um, it's about to start. A few of the Kaiser Chiefs players actually just walked past us not too long ago, so proceedings are about to start. A while ago, also also saw some family members um, coming in, you know, draped in black, and you could just see the sorrow that was on their faces because such a young life had been taken away from them. And one of the men who was responsible for bringing uh, Luke to the club of his dreams, you know, when Kaiser Chiefs put out that invite, they said that a young man whose only dream was to play for Kaiser Chiefs, and one of the men who had a very, very big hand in bringing him to Kaiser Chiefs joins me now, and that is Glenn Birkin, uh, the football manager of Luke Fleer, so football agent rather I should say. Glenn, thank you so much for your time. Just when you heard about the passing of Luke Fleer, just what went through your mind? I was in shock um, as one I suppose expects to be in such a, such a situation. Um, it was really, really difficult.